This car literally just got nerfed inside the game. And this is not a small nerf. A hundred mile per hour nerf. This is literally insane. What's going on, guys? Back it again with the Roblox episode of Roblox Jailbreak. So as we already know that there's a new update in the game. This new update brings us this car right here, which just literally can be found in the middle of the city. Well, it costs a lot of money in the game, but it's actually very fast. However, guys, after this update, a Simo also messed up something in the system. So based off the last update, I'm not sure what they changes. Maybe some parts of the vehicle. But yes, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the top five limited car just got nerfed. Watch until the end, guys, because I'm going to go ahead and surprise you with this crazy car that literally just got nerfed. The first car that got nerfed, guys, is going to be a Torpedo. But a Torpedo has been known for the fastest car inside of Roblox Jailbreak. However, Torpedo is no longer fast anymore. Asimo and Bassy C already nerfed this. The reason why they nerfed this is probably going to be some handling, like controlling vehicles and all that handling system. Probably make it more smooth for, you know, everybody here is going to be able to play the game. But before the nerf, guys, Torpedo was at 378 miles per hour. And after it nerfed, it's literally dropped all the way over here into 356 miles per hour. Which is, you know, about 20 to 20 miles per hour. However, guys, if you guys can actually go ahead and play Jailbreak, and if you do have the Torpedo, it's pretty hard to get up to 300 miles per hour anymore. You guys can see it take a little bit longer now to get up to 300 miles per hour on this car. You guys can see it literally go all the, you know, only go up to 280 max. You have to like, you know, use Rocket Field, give a little bit more boost. But yes, guys, Torpedo is going to be the first car that literally just got nerfed inside of the game. Since this here is actually very, very good trading value car, it may or may not affect trading, but I think the Torpedo is still going to be the most value car inside of the trading world. All right, guys, on to the next nerf. This nerf right here is probably going to be a small nerf, about 10 mile per hour nerf. But this car right here, guys, is going to be the Bendier or, you know, the Big Net, whatever you guys call this. However, after this update, the developer already nerfed this car about less 10 mile per hour now with the current top speed of 266 mile per hour. As you guys can see, the Bendier is pretty good at acceleration here as well. So you probably won't notice it. But yes, guys, this car here has go down 10 mile per hour. So now the current top speed just literally got reduced from 277 into 266. All right, yeah. So the max speed you guys can go right now, 266 mile per hour in the game. It's pretty fast still, I guess. I mean, you know, if you guys drive fast car in the game, can't really notice it though, just by a little difference. But since Benye is very known for, you know, trading values and all that, I don't really trade in jailbreak, so I'm not really sure about this. But I think value is probably gonna be still the same. But yeah, it's probably gonna be, you know, the best looking car overall here so far, so good. But the next car of the day is gonna be another seasonal car that literally just got changed. The next car of the day, guys, is going to be the Macron, right? So this right here. All right, this here is, I think, I believe it's gonna be a season 10 car. So, you know, four seasons ago, it's pretty long time already. This is, you know, pretty good car here as well. But since after the update changes, this car here literally just got nerfed once again. The car got a decrease of 10 miles per hour. All right, current top speed about 240 at the moment right now. So, you know, just same thing as Beignet, not much. Just probably a little changes inside of the game, but they're literally changing the limited car speed. The Macron is pretty valuable here too, since this here is going to be a season 10 car inside of the game. So a lot of people actually trade this here in the trading war, and this car is very, very good as well. But overall, guys, I think, you know, 10 mile per hour nerf, nothing that much of a big deal for this limited car, but this car does get a reduced speed. Next on the list, guys, is going to be a Torero. So back in the day, guys, Torero is a limited car that literally, you know, can be bought for a certain of days. They put the car in the game and you have to go here inside of the middle of the ocean just to buy this car here. The Torero car literally just got nerfed from 200 into 185. So, you know, about 15 mile nerf, just a little bit more than Bidier and the Macron nerf. But yes, guys, this car can no longer goes all the way up here to 200 anymore. You guys can see here, if you guys drive this car, it only goes up to 185. All right, so yes. All right, so you guys can see here, I'm driving it right now. It's going to be 180-ish right over here. That's what I'm getting here from, you know, like the average driving speed. But 185 is going to be the max speed of this car. I know the Torero and, you know, the other car is actually very high tradable in the game. Just a slight change of speed inside of the Torero would not probably going to change the value. So the, yeah, I think the car value is going to be the same. However, changing this speed actually decreased the accelerations. This car is going to take 9 seconds to literally go all the way up here into 180. Previously, it only takes 6 seconds to get it all the way up here to 180. But now, it takes a little bit more time here just to get up to max top speed. And if you guys already know of this game and you trace a lot inside of Roblox Jailbreak, 
you guys already know the Torero is actually having a friend's car, Airtel. Airtel got nerfed. All right, so you guys can see here, this car literally just got nerfed inside the game. And this is not a small nerf, a hundred mile per hour nerf. This is literally insane. But yes, guys, the Airtel literally just got nerfed in the game. The previous speed of the Airtel is 240 mile per hour. You guys can see here, Airtel, you know, used to consider very fast in the game. At the moment right now, the Airtel top speed is 147. All right, I'm not sure. Maybe this is going to be a mistake from a SEMO. Or maybe, you know, this here is just a changes from the, you know, some parts inside of the vehicle. Or maybe, you know, just for better handling. I don't really know the reason why for this. But it seems like this car literally just got a big nerf from the game. The developer decided to nerf this a lot. So you guys can see right now, if you guys drive this Airtel, it won't go all the way up here to uh, 150 anymore. All right, so yeah, this car is basically a Camaro. Just a little bit faster than the Camaro. The last big nerf inside Roblox Jailbreak is this car called Dune Buggy. So the Dune Buggy is actually considered very fast back in the day. After this nerf, Dune Buggy is no longer fast. Dune Buggy was reduced 80 mile per hour. But however, the Airtel literally just got removed 100 mile per hour. So yeah, if you think about this, this car here literally just got nerfed 80 mile. But then the Airtel literally just got nerfed 100 mile, which is literally insane. So I think this here is going to be the biggest nerf yet inside of the Roblox Jailbreak community last but not least guys i know this here is just for like a limited car video but i mean since you guys already watch until the end i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a bonus car that is probably not gonna be a limited car but it's gonna be a very very high used car as well inside of the j store which is gonna be the air clear so air clear got nerfed air clear got nerfed about 10 mile an hour not much of a big deal though you know since this is not a limited car it won't probably affect anything in the game i think i see much just decrease this just probably gonna go ahead and be a better you know handling but overall guys this car here literally just got nerfed so yeah basically the list car that literally just got nerfed is gonna be the torero the bidet the macron and as well as the torpedo literally just got nerfed in the game like i said i don't like trace and jailbreak so i don't really know how the speed's gonna affect the you know the price of the volume i think it's gonna be the same to be honest i mean like you know 300 mile per hour is pretty fast all right this here just got like a little nerf however airtel is like very slow right now so it may impact the airtel so yeah you know a little nerf like you know some cars like beignet and the macron about 10 mile per hour as well as this car here for air clear just 10 mile an hour probably not gonna be that much affecting trading but yes guys airtel is probably gonna be the most impact here however i do believe this here is gonna be a mistake from the developer team i'm not really sure about this i'm probably gonna go and ask them about you know why airtel got nerfed so much but anyway guys thanks so much for watching keep using stockho vg when you guys buy robux or premium it does help me out tons whenever you guys use it i'm gonna go and get a commission from roblox which is gonna support me a lot Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next time. Bye-bye.